When Matt Castle was very young, listening to the music that wafted from the speakers overhead in the grocery store, he dreamed that someday, maybe he too could be a Muzak arranger. Real life has taken Matt far beyond his childhood dreams. Matt is indeed an arranger. He's also a pianist, a composer, a music director, an actor, a teacher, a singer, and a man Stockton Arts Commission is proud to honor tonight. Matt was born in November 1971 into a family that surrounded him with the sounds of popular music. Hearing his parents and their friends sing together while his dad played chords on the family piano, he wanted to play too. In first grade, his parents gave him a chord organ. He taught himself to play by reading the numbered sheet music, and it wasn't long before he found a way to plunk out those melodies by ear on the real piano in the living room. In fourth grade, Matt was offered the chance to play cello in the elementary school orchestra. Between school cello instruction and private guitar lessons, he learned the basics of music notation and theory. In middle school, he became interested in classical music, after hearing Brahms's Hungarian Dance No. 5 on an audio daily double. He used his eighth grade graduation present, a Casio keyboard with all the percussion presets, to teach himself to play all 21 Hungarian dances with a bossa nova beat. At his audition to enter the conservatory at University of the Pacific, the auditioning committee could see on Matt's application that he'd never taken piano lessons, but they knew talent when they heard it. They accepted him into the conservatory. He finally received his first formal piano training and eventually became a conservatory staff accompanist. His gifted playing opened the door to his first professional theater job, when Scott Eckern hired him as Sacramento Music Circus's summer rehearsal pianist. Matt has accompanied opera singers, played club acts across the country, played in hundreds of chamber ensembles, and soloed with symphony orchestras. Playing piano fabulously would be enough for some people, but Matt's artistic curiosity and talent didn't stop there. In sixth grade, he heard a melody on TV and tried to plunk out the notes by ear. While he didn't get a single note right, he was excited to discover he'd made up something brand new. He called it the Red Ribbon Waltz. From then on, he carried staff paper with him all the time. Who knew when a new melody might just come to him during six period science or on the way to practice with the mathletes? Matt kept writing all during college. He composed seven shows for the Bennard School's summer enrichment program at the invitation of director Sue Eskridge. To complete his master's at Northern Illinois University, he composed Before Dawn, which was performed at the university and which placed in the finals of the NOA's chamber opera competition. Matt's composing talents also make him a sought-after arranger, although the Muzak organization hasn't called him yet. His very first arrangement was, of course, his Red Ribbon Waltz scored for a school concert when he was in the sixth grade. Today, his orchestrations and arrangements can be heard touring the country in Duck for President and on the original cast albums of Lingo Land and Enter Laughing. Playing piano and being a composer-arranger would be enough for some people, but Matt's artistic curiosity and talent didn't stop there. Matt is an accomplished vocalist with credits in all repertoires from classical and opera to, of course, musical theater, because Matt is also an actor. Starting in high school, where his first acting experience was playing bit parts in Beauty and the Beast, a kabuki version of Beauty and the Beast. Yes, that means he wore a kimono. And that was one of his few bit parts. From the pajama game to the secret garden to Annie, Matt's voice, face, and acting skills landed him leading roles in California and in New York. When he moved to New York in 2000, Matt got his first headshot and his actor's equity card. After touring with TheaterWorks USA and returning to Music Circus and Sacramento Theater Company, his first big break was off-Broadway, understudying both men's roles in The Musical of Musicals. The week after musicals closed, 
he landed a role on Broadway. He was cast as Peter in John Doyle's revival of Company, which won the Tony for Best Revival of a Musical and was filmed by PBS for its Great Performances series. Playing piano, being a gifted composer-arranger, and acting on Broadway would be enough for some people. But Matt's, well, you get the idea. And we've barely mentioned his teaching career, from public schools and the summer enrichment program, to positions at UOP, Delta College, Iowa, and NYU, to private coachings in New York. Did Matt fall in love with musical theater at age 10 when he first heard the Man of La Mancha Broadway cast album? Was he hooked during his fourth production of The Pajama Game? Or did all of his life experiences simply draw him naturally to one unique profession? With successes in so many fields, Matt's primary identity and preferred career combines them all as a musical director. Matt conducted his first musical, Once Upon a Mattress, at St. Mary's when he was still a college sophomore, but the die was cast. From then until now, Matt has music directed over a hundred shows, cabarets, workshops, and readings. Because of his reputation as one of those rare artists who understands all aspects of musical theater, he has gotten to work with many of the great writers, directors, and performers in the field. Playing piano, being a gifted composer-arranger, a successful actor, an accomplished singer, an inspired teacher, a respected music director, any of these talents would be more than enough for your average Joe. But we're not here to honor Joe. Tonight, Stockton Arts Commission is very proud to say, Matt Castle started here. <laughs>